Hello all. In this session, we'll discuss about the synchronous and asynchronous data transfer techniques. So first, we'll go with the detailed discussion of synchronous data transfer and then asynchronous data transfer and finally the differences between the synchronous and asynchronous data transfer techniques. So first before that we will try to understand the data transfer, the definition of the data transfer. Data transfer is the process of sending data from from the transmitter to receiver. So data transfer is the process of sending data from the transmitter to receiver and it can be synchronous data transfer or asynchronous form of data transfer. So first let us know in brief what is the synchronous data transfer. So in synchronous data transfer the transmitter and the receiver are synchronized with the same clock. They are synchronized with the same clock. Whereas in the asynchronous data transfer, the transmitter and the receiver use different clocks. So this is the major difference between the synchronous data transfer and asynchronous data transfer. So first let us know what is synchronous data transfer. In synchronous data transfer, the transmitter and receiver are synchronized and uses a common timing signal. And the transmitter in order to get aligned with the receiver, they use the timing signals. And in synchronous type of data transfer, the data flows as a continuous stream one after the other and where do we use the synchronous data transfer usually on board for example if you take the microprocessor chip so there we have the ALU we have the registers we have certain input uh, timers for example so on so what happens is that whenever the data transfer has to occur between the CPU and the registers assume the ALU and registers then we because the ALU and the register shares the same oscillator frequency so this comes under the synchronous data transfer so I repeat again whenever it is an onboard data communication because on board all the all the circuitry will be using the same internal oscillator frequency so we go with uh, so we say it as an synchronous data transfer so in synchronous data transfer so I already like uh, we have seen that the data flows one by one. So this is your transmitter, a sender or the transmitter, receiver. The data will be sent in the form of blocks or frames. We say it as frames. Continuously, bit by bit, the data would be transmitted. Then we will go with the asynchronous data transfer. In asynchronous data transfer, the transmitter and receiver operate at different clock frequencies. It uses the start and stop bit to the data. So if you see the picture, now this is your data byte. And it is always appended with a start bit, stop bit, usually start bit followed by the 
data bits and then stop bit and here in between you we may also go with the parity bit also parity bit is usually used for error detection so the zero indicates the start bit and the one indicates the stop bit and where do we use this asynchronous form of data transfer the usage so usually off board for example the cpu has to transfer the data to some input output devices so cpu will be running on a different clock and input output devices they will be having their own clock so this form of data transfer is asynchronous data transfer so the difference is between the synchronous and asynchronous form of data transfer so in synchronous data transmission data is sent in form of blocks or frames which already explained and in asynchronous data is sent in the form of bytes or characters in synchronous mode of data transmission the transmission takes place very fastly why because continuously like once the once the uh, transmitter and the receiver are aligned here data transmission starts and it will go on up to the completion of the data transmission and going with the asynchronous transmission it is comparatively it is slow why because each and every character or the data byte has to be appended with the start bit and stop bit synchronous data transmission in this the time interval of transmission is constant whereas in the asynchronous mode the time interval of transmission is not constant it is random and it is obvious that in the synchronous transmission there is no gap present between the data whereas in asynchronous there is a gap between data in the synchronous transmission efficiently uses the transmission line whereas the transmission line remains empty during gap in the character transmission in asynchronous transmission in the last point it needs precisely synchronized clocks for the information of new bytes and here it doesn't need the synchronized clocks because they are running on the two different clocks they don't need any synchronization and as i told you parity bit is also used in this transmission so in this session we have discussed in detail the synchronous asynchronous mode of data transfers and also the differences between the two types of data transfer techniques thank you